Hi, and welcome to That's So Nova. Today is basically a recap of day one through 12 and how to enter this giveaway. So let me start with the giveaway. Um, I mentioned it like a little bit throughout the 12 days. Um, what I'm gonna give away is a box full of goodies that I collect. It's some from a little bit of each group, um, some that I've been purchasing throughout the months to put into this box. I want to do a bigger one when we hit five, um, 5,000. We're almost at 2,500 and I'm really, I'm super grateful. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single person that hits that like button or shares it or makes a comment. It makes a huge difference to my, um, my, my platform. I appreciate the people that are on Patreon, even on the lower tier, just to help. Um, it helps me make more videos to buy, you know, buy to buy merchandise to create bags that I most likely probably wouldn't make for my business per se, but buying those materials for it, uh, taking the time, editing, all that stuff like that, it truly does help me so much and it helps me grow this platform. So I pre appreciate every single one of my um patrons i'm gonna i wanted to do like that cool thing where i can like show all the names but i haven't talked it over with hope and i have some patreon people that are very private and i respect their privacy um i appreciate all the people that uh send me kofis um two dollars three dollars here it may not sound like a lot but it is a lot and then sometimes when i get them they <laughs> It completely makes my day. Like yesterday I had a really bad day and someone sent me not only a Kofi, but like this really heartfelt message. And it, like, I almost cried. Like it, I, I had one of those days. It's been like a, an off day yesterday. Like I either have like an extremely good days where like I can sing and birds would come to my hand <laughs> at a moment. Or I can have those days where I'm like, oh my God, I just want to go to bed and cry and watch really great Hallmark movies and cry and eat ice cream or something along those lines. Yesterday was a bad day. It's, it wasn't like life shatters. It could, my day could have been worse. There's so many other people, um, but it was bad for me. And there was a few things that happened that made me smile. Um, messages, uh, people like just emailing me and telling me to keep going and pushing forward. And I just want to say thank you. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do, do a small giveaway are people like that make my day. So I'm hoping that these two giveaways can make somebody else's day, make someone else's holiday, holiday or winter solstice or whatever you celebrate or just December better. Um, so without going into more sappiness, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell, recap each day. Um, there's 12 days and then what I'm going to tell you how you can enter the contest. There are going to be two contests. Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness, the owner of So Sweetness, who is an incredibly kind and generous woman, offered me to give one lucky person um, a mini Kins. And I think there's three or four. I think three. Um, and you could choose whatever mini Kins you want. So if there's one missing from your collection, you can get it. Now, let's say you're one of those lucky people that have all the minikins. Maybe you can, when I give Sarah Lawson your name, you can see if you can gift it to someone else as an angel because she does sewing angels all the time. Or you could tell me and I can try, try to give it to the next person who is runner up. Just throwing it out there. Kind of like that pay it forward in, in Starbucks where everybody pays for somebody's coffee that's behind them. I don't know. Makes the world a better place. The second one is... Um, Either the the host, like New Moxie, gave me like a starter kit for somebody, or um, Backstitch gave me an extra like pull. And these enamel pulls cost like four dollars, and they're front and back. Um, um, when I went to so magical, I bought Lauren an extra bag of Lauren clips. Uh, I bought some cotton and steel thread spools, and I bought some really cool name tags. Uh, from Georgia Stitch, I got this extra luscious piece of leather. And if you've been wanting to work with leather and you're, you're a little apprehensive, I highly suggest her leather. It's a, she picked, she has really good quality. Um, when I purchased, uh, I purchased the kit from So Hungry Hippie, and she was so kind to give me 
these the stocking print that's like a little over a yard and it has all the instructions on the fabric i want to give that to someone um glitz soap i have a bath bomb in here um and then also from so sweetness this is her starter kit like the, the what her what her must-haves are the seam ripper the point turner which i use on a daily basis um, Dritz wash away tape, which doesn't gum up the needles, <laughs> some clover clips, white chocolate pen. I ate eight of these and I only can find one at a time. Um, <laughs> more information about her small business, um, a seam gauge, which is helpful because I use a ruler and then I put uh, washi tape down. So to have this to go for your needle position, so you make markings on your machine to find the perfect seam allowance friction pens which are a must so one lucky person is going i'm gonna stuff this in a box and <laughs> one lucky person is going to win this and then another lucky person is going to win uh any season they wish in minikins so how you enter um what i would like you to do is i don't i don't like the ones where you join groups and here's why because not everybody will remain in the group and it becomes like I'm a person that I get high anxiety off of too much stuff on my Facebook feed. I know that sounds probably silly to most, but I, I don't, I don't shop at a whole lot of places. Um, I'm not the person that gets on everyone's bandwagon. I usually shop with try and true and like every single person that I have on this 12, 12 days of small Christmas, if you were to ask them, I have purchased stuff from them and there I purchased patterns, fabric or whatever from them. So I have like a trust factor. So what I would like you to do, because this does help out um, the small businesses, is I would like you to go to their website, each person's website on every day, and comment on what you like the most out of their website. I'm not petting um, businesses next to, against each other because I despise that. We're a community and we're supposed to be uplifting other people. So for example, Arc Expressions is day number one. You can either go to her Etsy page or you can go to her Facebook business page uh, and then you can say, oh my God, you have, I'm trying to think, you have um, <laughs> Yosemite's um, back from, uh, Country Cow, I didn't know they had templates. And you come back onto page one and say, Yosemite's Country Cow thing. So that way each business sees my YouTube and maybe this could help them with their like, kind of like a survey, kind of like, what do people are, what do people look for on my website? What is building the most traction? And that can possibly help them. So like I said, day one is Arc Expressions and I will put all the businesses links in the description box. Day two was Georgia Stitch, Georgia Girl Stitch. She's the one that I'm contributing this leather to, and she has some of the best webbing. She has cotton webbing. She also has a very cool um, PDF that you could purchase. I believe it's, no, I actually think it's free, that has like these really cool like flaps that you could put over it and stitch over, and she shows you how to um, stop the fraying and have these really cool um straps that you can use a one inch instead of a one and a half inch um slider i'm not a slider but swivel clips so and she also gave us a code so if you don't remember go into um day two because you're gonna have to put, go to her website and say what your favorite thing on her pages whether it's a pattern or her 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 scrap packs or whatever you see or her um her kits put down your favorite thing, but she gave us a code. It's also in the description of that video. If you use this code that you can get, I believe 15 or 20% off of through the month of December. So I would capitalize on that. I plan on making more of her, asking her to do more of her, um, to, you know, bags of tutorials. My next one I want to do is a Gabby. It's extremely successful for me. Um, and it's not masculine nor feminine and it can work for either gender or non-gender or non-binary people. It is just a fantastic bag. It has so many pockets. And the reason why I'm making it and try to make it in January is I'm going to be a so magical of Texas. And I think I want that as my carry-on bag. Um, then I have New Moxie. I met New Moxie at So Magical Expo in Florida. Nicole is by far the most sweetest person I've ever met in my life. Um, if you look, remember my life, I literally stopped because her daughter's artwork, 
her daughter was the one that had the Ravenclaw ornament that I showed and she's contributing. Um, she has the best Pokemon pulls. My daughter was the one that po was naming all of them. She is still coming into my room trying to sell them. I'm like you, you're not sewing. So what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> so in this pack, she gave us the Pokemon, um, zipper tape that it's the white and the red with black gunmetal and then there's special like either pools or something special in here i didn't open it and then there's some webbing in the middle and some beautiful fabric so please go to her website and then say what you like and maybe that contributes she has a lot of different color hardware too for like swivel class hooks and all that stuff like that so just something to look for um the fourth day was so hungry hippie i have purchased uh, quite I like th three patterns from her. Her patterns are straightforward. I really like them. She there's something very uplifting in her patterns. Like you are smiling while you're reading her patterns, and that's not like joshing you. Like you you could tell like some patterns are really serious and can give you like oh my god I got to read every single word or I'm gonna mess up this bag. And so hungry hippie there's like a flow. I can't explain it. Like it's like doing yoga or like yoga surfing like that's the best way i can explain it um i'm i'm putting she gave me i bought i bought um her vinyl um to, like zipper kit uh zipper pouches she told me i can um do a tutorial she does have a tutorial and i will link that as well but i thought it would be just like a fun thing to make um as a holiday gift or just uh Oh, I've been sewing heavy, so let's make something light and just keep our sojo going. And I wanted to mess around with that vinyl because if when I seen it, it looked so interesting. And my daughter Faith was with me on that one, and she even said it feels amazing. I can't explain it. It just like it's super like soft and buttery and supple. It's it's a beautiful faux vinyl. Um, the fifth day was Glit Soap. Glit Soap is the owner. Her name is Alicia. You may know her. She was the owner and designer of Swoon, um, Swoon handbags. She has a store and she sells vegan, um, sulfate free, vegan friendly products. And like I explained, like I love her hair oil. I love her, um, when I do wear makeup, this is probably why I have the bottle so long. I wear makeup mostly when I go to conventions or when I'm going to be presenting somewhere in person. And I'm not a like I'm, I'm not a real person that can know how to contour and stuff like that. I would I totally suck. I love watching people do it, but I am not that that is not a skill set I possess. But if I put on like like a lip stain or mascara or eyeshadow when I want to take it off, I I used to use cold cream because that was something my grandmother told me to use. But Alicia's um facial oil removal stuff is like cold cream but just like liquefied and a little goes a long way you massage in your face and when you wash your face like everything's gone like you can do the tissue test with their mascara and i use that mascara that like cakes on like you're like holy crap what did you your eyelashes look like tarantulas so <laughs> um her her i can attest that her facial oil is really well and i have super hypersensitive skin like i i'm allergic to I'm, I'm pretty much allergic to everything i'm not i'm i'm allergic to everything <laughs> so her soaps are really good too um her lip balms are awesome i suggest you if you want to look for the holiday something that is comparable to lush but to me is better no offense to Lush. Um, Lush has beautiful products. It just sometimes a lot of their stuff I have some kind of weird reaction to. And I've never had a reaction to um, anything of Alicia's. So day number six is so sweetness. There's not enough words I could say for um, Sarah Lawson or her husband Danny or her whole entire family. Her whole entire family fulfill orders and they ship incredibly fast and they're incredibly generous and she's she's a very rare soul like if you don't understand something you can message her or, or, like through an email she's very responsive and she will try to work with you and help you out and a lot of her like workshop classes on sunday are based off of like questions people send her and she really tries to help people out and she she's definitely one of my bag icons she's one of my favorite pattern designers and She's just a fantastic person. When I told her I was doing this, she sent me this as a beginner kit. And it's not even a beginner kit. It's more like, like <laughs> Oprah's, these are my favorite things. And 
oddly enough, I own every single one of those except the seam ripper. I will be buying a seam ripper from her. Um, because I see people use it and I've never done it, but it, it's like an eraser and all the thread comes out. I'm like, that's actually quite genius because I I'll, I can get through all of it with like a um, with a blade or whatever, but then you have all that remaining thread. So that actually makes quite a lot of sense. I'm a seam ripper, ripper breaker though. I cannot tell you how many times I have broke different seam rippers. I'm also really heavy handed. So, so she gave us that and she gave us... Um, if someone to win the minikins and if you know anything about the minikins it's eight to ten patterns sometimes 12 patterns in one season and it's for a one set price of 88 dollars she never variates she never splits it apart and you can buy one or there it's the whole set so for her to give my channel something like that for me to like have one of you guys win like meant the world because i use the minikins all the time my favorite season i love every season but season one had some like really outstanding pouches that i like to put for thank you gifts and season one has a couple of pouches no season three has a couple pouches that are like my number one sellers at craft shows um so and me and the zeppelin pouch i make that pouch for almost every man i know in my own life and that is their favorite dot kit it is it looks incredibly difficult and it's quite easy to assemble um and all of her videos uh, all of her patterns come with videos in the minikin so you're getting a great value um number seven is more me know we all know lauren we all see her she is a bubbly smiley person and her smile is contagious and when she's smiling on camera it kind of automatically makes you smile I buy, I have been buying for Lauren for a while. And if she looked at her history of me, I always buy name tags. And when she came out with um, the blurb thing, I immediately signed up for it because people, if you, okay, hear me out. If you don't believe me, go to my, uh, my, my Etsy, Nova's Knits on Etsy. What, look at the first, like the, the most recent, um, review the person was like shinova had made so many details in this bag she made this hobbit happy and lauren has <laughs> this it took forever it made this bag this bag took me to go to middle earth or something's really cute dealing with middle earth and it's a tag on one of the slip pockets and the person in the description of my theme you're able to take a picture they pulled down that to show that so her gift tag is actually shown in like a five star review for me and people really love these gift tags like um some i just made a bag for someone else and they like took a picture immediately if you're looking this if you're looking this far in your bag i'm proud of you you're cleaning out your bag like people love these so i buy gift tags from her randomly she has like mad um harry potter star wars marvel at my creation and if you know me i make a lot of super nerdy bags so all of her like all of her thing, all of her little tags coincides on things that I make and people really appreciate these little tags and they don't cost a lot of money on her site. I think they're under $2 and it really can help upgrade your bag to the next level. So I buy it and I'm addicted to her rulers and every time she shows a new ruler, I'm like salivating. If you could ever go into my room, <laughs> you would laugh. I have so many rulers. It's not even funny. It's just, I love rulers. It's just, it's a thing. Um, and she has really, really great vinyls. Uh, she is one of the few people that not only have like vinyls that she would recommend for the industrial machine, but she has a lot of accessory weight and domestic friendly vinyl. So that's something that you want to look into as well as she doesn't do pre-orders. It's what she has is right there. And I appreciate that because I have hardly no patience. Although I do pre-order sometimes, I have to like physically tell my mind that it doesn't exist. And so when it comes in, I'm surprised because I will be counting down the days if it's something that I truly want it. Just throwing that out there. That's my two cents. There's nothing wrong with either or. It's just something that I appreciate. On day number eight is sew your bag. Now, if you're a frequent subscriber to my channel, you know every other month I do a box opening for Catherine off of the bags that she makes. She, to me, is pretty magical. She creates a box and it's her pattern. 
it's hers. It's not anyone else's pattern. It's a pattern that she wrote and she writes her patterns based on skill level. And she kind of goes a little bit further and show different things every month. One month will be showing how to put in snap buttons. Next month it's zippers, it's plackets, it's how to do a recess zipper, so on and so forth. So you can grow with her. She has a beautiful way to pick Ankara fabrics that I have never seen in my whole entire life. I don't know how she does it. She doesn't live that far from me. So one day I'm going to just gonna like pop over and be like, let's go shopping for Ankara fabrics. <laughs> and recently she started inquiring and getting purple and blue hardware. And she's a rare bird because a lot of people get like the swivel hooks, the sliders and like the D rings or rectangle rings. Well, she leveled that up. She get she has like the handcrafted labels, the same color. She has the rivets. She has the purse feet. So like your whole bag looks completely complete. Um, and she, like I said, own patterns. If you're like, Hey, I can't afford the box. You might be able to fall, afford her notions or her hardware and, or she sells patterns separately as well. So number nine is Mojo Sews. Um, I love edge painting. I'm one of those people that have been edge painting for a while because when I make like the Wonder Woman shield or the Captain America shield, I can't leave raw vinyl edges. Um, so I, I learned how to edge paint. I was a person that first started off with fabric markers, but then realized that once the marker absorbs into the backing of the vinyl, it still can leave white blotchy splotch spots. Then I would start dabbling into edge paints because as long as you use the dense edge um, paint base first and then edge coat, then it doesn't absorb into the backing and you have a beautiful finish that doesn't crumble. Um, I have dabbled with a lot of different edge paints during my journey because there wasn't, there's not like a whole lot of videos out on them. And, um, I, I wind up liking, one, like I like Angelus and I love um, Gardini. Um, Gardini is the one I use most likely because they're the colors mix really well and it's it's a nice consistency. It's not really drippy. So when I got the sample of Mojo Sews and my sewing magical thing, that blew my mind. I to this day I am not, I will ride or die for that purple paint. Like <laughs> um, it took two coats. It was very opaque and it wasn't running. And I can't, the only way I can explain it is like getting a cheap nail polish that is a beautiful color. And as soon as you put it on your nail, it starts flooding your, your cuticle or going down your side. And you're like, what the heck? SE doesn't do this. There is, because with formulas, you, you got to look for something that's opaque, but also has a good consistency that won't drip down the sides or in the front where you're constantly wiping and trying to prevent things from spilling. And Mojo So says that she's essentially to me like the OPI or SE of nail polish before um, edge paint. So she does have also glow in the dark. So if you do a lot of glow in the dark bags or if you want to do like something cool, like have an all matte black bag and then have writing in glow in the dark. There's so many things you can do. Think about it. People design stuff on shoes with the leather paint. So you can design things on your bag with the leather paint. Then the next is day number 10 and that's backstitch fabric. If you go into my room <laughs> fabrics and my, my, my like two walls of it, the majority of my fabric is from backstitch. I'm a huge Disney fanatic and they have a tendency of doing that. But other than Disney, they like pull my heartstrings with like, um, they had a, <laughs> uh, they have, they have HP, they had, um, Goonies, they have had Stranger Things, like they pull my heartstrings. They had a really cute Golden Girls one. They, they had one more Wonder Woman was like every shape, size, color abilities in there. They like, they, they're pretty amazing. So, and the art style is consistent throughout the whole entire, um, different genres so it makes you want it because you are familiar with that person's artwork and i appreciate anyone that hand draws and creates their own things and sonia from backstitch really does do an amazing job and her whole entire admin staff are incredibly kind and sweet if you have questions about like can i sew with this 
they make they're another one that makes things this is better for industrial this is better for domestics they have really beautiful glitter vinyl like take a moment go to backstitch on their facebook thing and look in the album they have this glitter vinyl that i am already going after because i feel like this vinyl will make my bags look like magic <laughs> and it's it's just they, they are dabbling with it and then they have like zipper pulls and zipper charms like this that are just absolutely stunning um and that can upscale your bag one more the next one i have is sally tomatoes sally tomatoes is another one that if you, you go into it go in, you can get a discount off of 10 percent of everything they're the ones i told you that they have the new year's eve um the new year's eve party that has like two thousand eight hundred dollars with a door prizes and it's other than the door prizes we're learning how to make a really cool thing it's called like the smith it's a folder that slides in on itself but it's meant for like a tablet like so your ipad or your samsung galaxy pad and then it has they have pockets and stuff for pens chargers and even credit card slot like it's a perfect like oh, i'm grabbing this from my my bag on the airplane and i'm doing blah 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 like it is a perfect kit and immediately when i seen it i was like my son's going to want one, my husband's going to want one, and I'm going to want one. So um, they have that. They have some of the best zipper tape I've ever had, hands down. I'm going to find, a, I have some zipper tape. I'm going to stick that into this box too. They, they're, um, a lot of the time I iron and starch my zipper tape to get it like where it doesn't wave on the top if it's like a top part. That's my secret is starch. Um, they, they're zipper tape I never have to iron. I don't know what they use or who their manufacturer is, but it's really good zipper tape. Um, I can't speak highly enough for them. They have really amazing cork. They have a cork club. They have a really cool club where if you want to learn how to make small packages, like things like, I think it's like 10 or $15 a month. And every month you get like a pattern and like the stuff that goes with that, that um, pattern. Like they'll have like uh, lanyards or just different things. They have different clubs. And I think, it's pretty cool. And again, I remember seeing Sally Tomato when I first started sewing and they were small and now they're massive. They're hiring people. They're, I don't know. I love seeing people grow, like watching these people grow in the industry. It's truly making me happy because it's like, we're putting our, our communities like now being like, look at us. We are amazing. <laughs> And last but definitely not least, so girly fun. She right now is holding a, um, a, uh, she has a summer loving. I don't have the bag by me. She has the grease fabrics. And earlier this month, I made a holiday armadillo from, um, Sincerely Jen. And the Snow Wars was her fabric. So, like, if you're trying to make some stuff for the holidays, but can't find any really cool holiday fabric, go over to her. She has, um, you get your stuff, it's retail. Um, she has really gorgeous blue zipper tape right now in pink, and she draws all her own work too. So it's another person I truly respect because I love when artists make their own own work. And I will be putting two um, panels, I think I showed them yesterday, into this bag too, which is like a Hello Kitty one and a, a stitch one where like Lilo, Lilo is kissing 626 on one side, and I think it's either it 625 or 627 is kissing, um, well, not licking, has her tongue <laughs> on the other side of his face so that they're two panels. So to enter, go to each one of these websites on each day. On each individual um, day, put down what your favorite theme is on that person's website. For instance, so, so really fun, um, fun was day 12. So yesterday, so you go to day 12, go to her website, carouse it and be like, my favorite theme from her website is, you know, dot, dot, dot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this because that's 12 websites you have to go through. And I know a lot of us work or have extra stuff. I'm going to keep this open for 48 hours to on Tuesday. So <laughs> you have all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday, Thursday at 11 and a.m. I'm shutting off comments for all 12 and then on Friday I will um, say how many people are in it and I will do a live drawing one for the box so that way I can ship it out because I would like you to have it before the holidays and I can ship it out that Friday <laughs> and two 
The second one would be the mini cans. I'll do those. I can do it live or I can do a pre-recording, whatever you guys want. Um, but it, I'm shutting off comments today, tomorrow, no, sorry, Thursday at 11 a.m. So that's all I have to say. I want to appreciate, I know it's a long, long process that this was a longer video than most. I appreciate all your um, time, your effort, and your energy, and your patience. And I wish everyone luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. And I wish I was able to give each and every single one of you something. I truly do, but... I'm not able to do that at this time, maybe one day in the future, but I appreciate everyone and I will be seeing you real soon. Bye.